Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area in your life. Uh, also, one last thing before we get started, I am giving away one free personal reading. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. So with that said, let's just get started here with your reading. I'm going to pull a couple cards here from the Archangel Power Tarot deck. Let's see what the energy is for you, Sag. Okay, number zero, leap of faith, Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy, all right? So this is the start of the journey, right? Following your heart and knowing that everything's working out for your highest good, even if you can't see the journey ahead and you know maybe you're not feeling secure about it, uh, but they're saying here, go with your heart. Do what feels good for you, no matter what anybody thinks, okay? You also have here the five of Gabrielle. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So that's kind of what I said, no matter what people think. So I feel like, Sagittarius, there may be some sort of decision here you're trying to make, or maybe... Um, there is something new that you're wanting to do. It could be anything, right? It could be a change of job, a change of relationship. Um, it could be some sort of big decision in your life where you're kind of leaving some things behind. And instead of maybe taking the more logical approach you're taking, uh, you know, you're going with your heart. Because the leap of faith here too can be about that inner calling. Something is really strongly, it, something is really strongly calling you towards it, and it's almost like you can't ignore that feeling that you get. But there's going to be people around you. I feel here they're not going to be happy with your decisions. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing there. Now, bottom of the deck here, you have number 14, which is five solutions. It says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Okay, so, you, you know, there may be some sort of compromise, right, by you taking that leap of faith, you taking this journey here. And, um, you know, it's definitely a energy here of self-control and patience, right? And there's also an energy here of forgiveness. This is really your energy here, Sagittarius. So I feel like you're going to be in conflict a little bit about this new journey or something here that you're wanting to do because I feel there are other people who are either interfering or they have something to say or they may give you some pushback okay and that's the energy i'm getting there but i feel like spirits here right is really trying to lead you to whatever your heart is really trying to tell you so let's pull some some cards here some tarot cards and let's see what the energy is here for sagittarius what else can you show sagittarius what else does sagittarius need to know Okay, Four of Swords. Right after everything I just talked about, that Four of Swords, right, is taking time to yourself. Right? There may already be some people around you. Maybe there already has been some drama or, you know, someone giving you pushback. And, you know, you're just taking time to yourself, really thinking about things, trying to gain your clarity, maybe getting some rest if you're feeling exhausted. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, the Hermit. Virgo energy. So there you are, Virgo, and it's and this is actually goes with that leap of faith card. So what the Hermit card comes to tell you, this is your journey. You're the only one who can walk the path on the journey that you're on. You know, whatever this change in your life, or you're making a decision about making some sort of change, or feeling like you have some sort of calling. So the Hermit here, right? He has this narrow stick. It's saying that there's a very, you know, kind of narrow path there. And you're really trying to find the best approach here, listening to your inner guidance, your wisdom. That's what that lantern is, you know, 
highlighting for you, right? That's what it represents, your inner wisdom. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to find your way in this situation. Oh my gosh, look what showed up. The five of wands, <laughs> okay? I'm just gonna say this could be your inner this could be your own inner struggle, but I also am picking up an energy. There are people around you, um, almost like I feel sad that either, you know, they're already giving you pushback or they or they cause drama around you or something like that, okay? You also have here the Queen of Wands. So I feel like what they're saying here, Sad, is you really just need to be assertive, right? Be confident in your decision, no matter what anybody else says, right? The Queen of Wands is very confident, assertive. She goes after what she wants, and it's not about gender. It's about the energy. She goes after what she wants, um, you know, what she's pas passionate about, okay? And, you know, I'm almost feeling like an energy, too. You know, she doesn't have to answer to anybody. She's making that, she's taking the action here. So I feel like that is what, you know, you're trying to think about here. Why there's something I feel that you may be struggling with or you may be worried about what other people think. You also have here the hangman. Yeah, it's that still energy there, okay? That still energy. Um, an energy here where... I'm going to say sometimes this can also be letting go of ego, okay, coming to a place where you have to start to see things or you start to see things from a different perspective and able to do that. If there's any ego involved, that needs to be let go, but it's really a still energy, right? It's almost, it's a, li a limbo energy, okay, but I always see this card too, it's almost like you're surrendering, right? You're surrendering. And what you have to do with that leap of faith is surrender, right? Having faith that everything's working out for your highest good. So I feel, you know, you're definitely doing a lot of thinking about this situation. Look at that. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're trying to decide here what is best for you and your happiness. Some of you, this may be around a relationship. And as I said, some of you, it may be some sort of career change or some sort of change in your life. It feels kind of like a like um, a bigger change. This doesn't feel like a small thing, um, but it could be, okay? This could be around your family, right? Could be family here, right? Not happy, right? Or something like that. This could involve your family as well. So let's see what we have. Yeah, three of wands. Three of wands, okay. So it almost feels here, right, like you've already made some sort of decision about something here in your life, okay? So maybe it's this change. And maybe now you're on that path, well, okay, so what do I do now towards that next step of the change? It's an energy here where you have you've, um, may have already been to that crossroads, and now you're kind of, kind of trying to envision the future and what the future holds. And it's that energy as well as, you know, you can't, you, ta you can't turn back now, right? You've kind of made a decision. Maybe people weren't happy about it. And now you are moving forward and there's an energy here of moving towards something that you're going to commit yourself. Now, it can be in a relationship. It can also be... Uh, something that you're going to put your effort into make this change and now you have to as we talked about up here with the solutions you have to be disciplined and be committed towards what you know what the decision here you made all right so I feel uh, Sagittarius as I said there are going to be people here I feel that are not going to be happy <laughs> okay just know that now it could be your own internal struggle right about kind of, uh, sometimes I see this too, this three of wands as like kind of taking a leap of faith, right? Because he's kind of standing there, you know, on this ledge or cliff here. And, um, you know, the next step is really committing to something. Now, like I said, can be a relationship or something else here in your life. Yeah, look at that. Two of pentacles. So weighing your options here with the two of pentacles. So I feel really Sagittarius. There's a big change I feel that's happening in your life. 
and I feel that you're trying to come up with a solution but I also feel that there are people around you right maybe not working with you could be working against you or there could be some sort of drama or you're worried about those things let's see what else comes out in your reading page of swords all right I'm gonna pull all the cards six of Pentacles three of, of swords okay I almost get the energy here sad with that three of swords like you may be afraid of hurting somebody with your decision I don't know why I get that but I get that uh, this could be your own right hurt pain loss maybe it's something that you've experienced that makes it harder for you to make this decision um, but you have the emperor here telling you that you are in control Okay. It's also another card uh, showing discipline, too. The Emperor is very disciplined. So you may be needing to be very disciplined about this decision. And what I mean by that, it's almost like you have to show people, right, that you have the power to make this decision. And, you know, if you decide to make this decision, you know, it's not their business, right? But you have the Page of Swords here. So with that Page of Swords, um, I feel here too um, during this time, okay, whether you're going through this now or this is upcoming, I feel like during this time you may be a little bit distant from people, okay? It's showing me that too with the Four of Swords and the uh, Hangman there. So you may not want to do a lot of talking to people about what's going on, um, but this also can be like a curious... Uh, investigative energy so you may be deciding to investigate more uh, find more clarity about this situation okay you also have here the six of Pentacles which can talk about right where to put your time and your energy there could be more than one person involved right maybe you were giving your time and energy to two things or two people and now you have to decide where you're going to put your time and energy Okay, because it could be among friends, like I said, a love situation. This could be a work situation if you have two jobs. Um, but this also can represent, I feel here, you know, you've experienced some sort of pain or loss. And now you're making the decision in your life you want to be happy. And you're only going to put your time and energy into people, places, or things in your life that give you happiness. That's what that Ten of Cups is. It's that happiness. So sad. I feel your energy <laughs> in the, the readings I've been doing lately, there's a big change I feel that's happening in your life. And Spirit's trying to get you to go with your heart. To really listen to your heart. It doesn't mean that you, you don't listen to right, your logic or your head. But that leap of faith is a calling. It's a calling to listen to your heart and surrender and have faith that everything's working out for your highest good. No matter what other people think, right? Or even what the challenge is. I mean, it just can represent challenges, right? Things um, that are getting in the way or blocking. But let's pull some cards here from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Okay, look at that. Reach out. All right. This tells me you're going to be working with other people. So whether it's around a relationship or whether um, this could also be, it's right next to solutions. It could be some sort of compromise um, that you come to. It could be a compromise within yourself that you come to that. Can be, um, right, working with other people. On your situation if it's not outside of some type of relationship oh look at that I talked about the heart here's the heart chakra yeah I feel like spirits telling you here really listen to your heart in this situation really listen to your heart and then you also have oh look at that you have the the sacral chakra okay number two so a decision here also with the sacral chakra 
That's about your passions, your desires. It also can be about money, okay? There could be a struggle, right, in what you do, your passions, you know, what your, your heart is calling to do, but maybe, um, you know, loving the money that you're already making, okay, or you feel something, um, there's more potential for money than what maybe your heart is calling you to do. Okay. And then you also have here, share the love. So some of you, I feel like this is around a relationship, making a decision around a relationship. And some of you, I feel here, uh, this is about you sharing your gifts and your talents with the world. And then you also have here, giving and receiving, equal give and take. And that's that, that time and energy. So whether it's in a job or a career, right? You may be putting a lot of hard work into a career, right? Giving a lot of yourself, your time, but maybe not seeing the results of that. So there has to be balance. So whether it's a relationship or this has to do with your money and your career. But I feel, Sagittarius, there's some sort of change that's happening in your life. And either you're feeling the calling now or you're going to feel it soon. You're going to feel it in your heart. And it's going to be so strong. That could be why, too, there's a struggle. Or there's other people I feel here are going to not be happy with the changes you're making, right? Because um, I, I almost feel like it could be something that's so off the grid <laughs> that they don't understand your choice. But that's, that's part of the full journey here. So your final message here, Sag, is, says, Dear, dear Sagittarius, it might be hard to believe you'll ever get to where you want to go, feel the way you want to feel, and find peace and security, but you can. There's lots to celebrate in life, but first you need to let go of this attachment to achieving certain results. It is easy to get caught in the endless loop of wanting this or that so you can feel safe. The only way out is to surrender the attachment. Empty yourself so you can be filled with something new. The compulsion will be lifted and peace will come. Trust that something better waits, that something, will, something new will open up and you will see the new opportunities for fulfillment. The truth is whenever you get into the loop, what you are really looking for is spirit. The connection is where the power, the peace, and the purpose lies. Everything else follows after that. Give yourself a hug. We've got you. Loving you so, so much. And this is so on point with your reading, uh, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.